have you forgotten have you forgotten to share like and subscribe well if you haven't do it now as we're about to start today's topic hi welcome back my name is rita i am a mom of three and i'm raising god-fearing children in his image according to his will and then aligning them into god's purposes for them my life is my faith in christ my lifestyle everything i do from the moment i wake up to when i go to bed i believe is my faith and my worship today's topic is about how you turn your faith into a lifestyle so i wake up i say my first line my eyes are open thank you jesus i'm alive those are my first words thank you holy spirit that you are still here then my day begins the crazy hectic life get the kids off to school now what i discovered was I realized that God describes himself as an emotional person. But we shy away from talking about emotions. During the day, how many emotions or emotional behavior patterns do you exhibit? I know, for me, I can go from right being happy, 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 oh, happy, happy, to being what? I'm about to give it to you <laughs> in the span of a second <laughs> or oh my god tears flowing <laughs> crying my buckets of tears for no reason we as human beings are filled with emotions anxiety fear love worry anguish anger pain sorrow bitterness jealousy all of these things now i ask you the same thing doesn't god describe himself in all of those things doesn't he say he's a god of he's he's a jealous god isn't that an emotion didn't he say he's a god of love isn't that an emotion god is a god of emotion let's stop labeling him as something that he is not his love for us is real and I'm proud that as parents in order for us to become parents we need to understand these all the emotions you are exhibiting and your children are picking up they are all emotions that God himself has put into you so be proud when you are angry please take care don't get excited with emotions of anger you know just tone it down sometimes the kids do know how to push that button however let's fill it in and do our best my secret with my children is when they push the button and i am getting overwhelmed i physically walk away and i realize they chase after me <laughs> so i physically walk away and i hide in the toilet <laughs> and it works because i can calm myself down and come back to them so we've established that god is an emotional god and as parents, we are living our lives, teaching our children Christ-like behaviors. Our lifestyle should be an example of that. Don't forget that every moment counts. Every attitude counts. Your children are watching you. Your lifestyle, it may not, you don't need to do dramatic things out of control. You don't need to portray stereotypical behavior of religious acts. For your children to know that your lifestyle is your faith. It's a simple thing as singing a song. A simple song. Just to calm you down. A simple thing as saying please, thank you to your child. Those are examples of what your lifestyle is. If the Bible tells us that we are created in the image and the likeness of him who is the maker of us then shouldn't we be doing what he does which is he loves us he cares for us when we are wrong he corrects us but he corrects us in love let's try and raise our kids to understand that their livelihood even in school even at home everything they do 
whoever they meet, their life is exhibiting one person and one person only, Christ. Thank you for joining us once again. I hope you enjoyed today's teaching. If you have anything to say, please don't forget to comment down below. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, leave a little speck of sparkle in your child's life. Don't forget, love yourself. Love yourself always. From my family to yours, kids. God bless. Take care. Annyeong. Goodbye. Mwah. <laughs>